We're just hoping we don't die on the side of the road before that happens. Nervous! For good reason. We just had a complete engine breakdown. Done. We worked long and hard to get the new engine. She looks Look fresh. At that. But nothing on this 1985 RV is easy. Have gasoline leaking. With help from friends, we got it done. But now we have to rely on strangers to get to Florida. Fingers crossed this is the last thing that we have to do on the way to Florida. With everything that went wrong on this short drive, we really got lucky. Oh, thank you. Well, muchas gracias. I guess that was free. Pack up the camper, click subscribe, and let's start this FNA road trip. We are officially leaving. Marie Jose and Chase's place. Ooh, things in the back are bouncing. We are fully loaded, which is not recommended for a brand new engine. Don't do what we're doing, but we've mapped out our route to Florida to be no hills. None, not a hill. Don't give me any hills. We're gonna do our best to stay cool, stay calm, stay way under the speed limit and get to Florida without a license plate on. <sighs> so hopefully, go get me. This is one of those times where you just hope you make it. We're not 100 miles out of Chase's driveway and the check engine light comes on, we pull over, Frank determines that it's the alternator. So now we are sputtering, literally sputtering to the O'Reilly's, which is 1.7 miles away. We just wanna to get to like a shoulder, a good shoulder, and we're not on the main highway. Even if we could just be on the street, that would be better. Come on, baby. We can make this your exit, exit, buddy. Oh, we're there? This is the right exit. Right off the exit? Yeah, it's right off the exit. Woo! <laughs> I think we might make it. Paco's so chill about the whole thing. He doesn't care. Not a care in the world. Nervous! <laughs> My hands are sweaty. <laughs> Come on, baby, you got it. Okay, stay to the right. Somebody's gonna have to push us over the curb. Might have to. <laughs> Just suck in the battery to the bare minimum at the moment. Oh my God, guys. It's right yeah. here? Yeah, it's right, right. Oh, I see it, shit. Yeah. Nobody's turning, come on, nobody's turning. Just cruise Perfect. around the corner. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, uphill, uphill, uphill. Come on, Sonny. Chugga, 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 chugga. O'Reilly! On all parts. Eleven three. So we stayed up at 11.3. That's good, that means the battery's not completely dead. We're gonna have to get this off and get it inside and have her charged. And then we're waiting for that, uh, for that alternator. What's the regular battery? The regular battery? What do you mean? 12.6. Uh, no, it should be sitting at 12 8 when we have it on, 13 1 immediately, at least. Yeah. Well, this is where we'll be for the next hour or two. Yeah, I'll have to get out some tools. So Frank's trying to get, is this hot? Yeah, everything's hot. Everything's hot. Okay, hot don't engine. touch shit. It's a hot engine. Don't right touch anything. Frank's taking the old alternator out. We confirmed with the guy that he's got it on order and then it's coming ASAP. Yay, you little shit. <laughs> Hey, fuck you. <laughs> but she's gonna give us forty dollars back in core charge, so something better than nothing. I'm trying to be quick about it. I don't want to sit here all day. If you can see that shiny new alternator, it took maybe about an hour of just sitting hanging out. Frank is now best friends with the guy who works here at the O'Reillys, so that's a fun development. Poop it in right here, real quick. Poop it in. Poop it in. We'll be really good. Yes. Yeah, Hola. Todo bien. Todo bien. Yeah. Sí. Necesito uh, alternator. Nuevo alternator. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Español es solo poquito. Poquito. Yeah. Muchas gracias. Hola. Hola. Hasta luego. Hasta Buen día. It's like the smallest little hair of a difference. Uh, from the other one to this one, so it's not just falling in place. So I'm gonna take a file and I'm gonna file the back end of it and see if that will be enough to just get it to slide in. Frank's nasty, and he didn't can't touch our beautiful finish. Vintage finish. Ooh, it's hot again. Yeah, everything's hot. <sighs> nope. 
A little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more. Everything else is basically the same. Everything else is exactly the same, except for this. We were hot, tired, and frustrated, but the guys at the O'Reilly's really helped us get back on the road. Frank, is it in? Yeah, I got her in. Give me more excitement. Yeah, I got her in! <laughs> Fingers crossed this is the last thing that we have to do on the way to Florida. That was way easier. 14 11. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias, mi amigo. Gracias para tu ayuda. <laughs> So as much as I want to be like, yay, we might have to go to a mechanic. Something about our spark plugs aren't out properly maybe, or the timing's wrong. There's going to be a lot of a little adjustments to, yeah. to like get it to feel just right. Right. So right now it's like, even as we're just sitting, it's like... I don't know how to explain it. It just, it doesn't feel like it's just like a smooth run. It's like a interrupted run. That feels better. See, she stopped. What was that? I just, I changed the like. The timing a little bit? Yeah, well the distributor, I went to more like uh, like. So it's advanced or retard is what it's called. And I think I just went a little retard, just back a little bit, but. Now, when we hit the gas, we might have a little bit different. We'll try her out for a little bit like that and see how it goes. Okay. And then this mama needs some food. And I don't think it's going to be healthy. You want a pup cup? Yes, see? Who knows what a pup cup is? It's at the next window, Paco. Oh, oh thank you so much. Uh, yeah, thank you, know you know what man. that is, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have a good day. Appreciate you. That was a lot of pickles. Yours is pretty messy too. Oh yeah. I'm okay with it though. <laughs> All right, Sonny, let's get to Florida. Another hundred miles and we're pulled over again. Is it leaking? Right now we have the automatic transmission temperature sensor uh, for like possibly getting too warm going off. So I'm gonna drive up to like the next stop and then see if maybe we could get a little bit of it drained out so that way the level is right. I think because the level might be too high, maybe it's not lubricating everything properly because that's normally what happens when you have too much transmission fluid in. that the automatic transmission oil being too hot means that there could already be a problem with the transmission, which would suck. Or it could just be dirty, which would make sense because I did drain it, I had it open for a while, but I didn't get to replace the filter. So it could just be like the filter was dirty or something like that. From like the that. old fluids, yeah. from the old engine. So seven minutes from here, we're gonna go to a lube oil filter place. We needed to get an oil change on this drive anyways. Is it too early to do it? Yeah, technically. How many more miles? I would say at about 107,200, we would probably be close to that oil change. How many more? Uh, right now we've done, we're about to hit 200 more miles, basically. So we're gonna stop now, get the transmission, and then in 200 miles, stop again and do the oil? Yeah, I guess we could probably do them both now. Give it a shot. I mean, I guess we wanna do it right. And it's I not like we're making it to Florida today anyways. No. It's already four o'clock. We're in Alabama though. We made it one state, guys. It's pretty good. How's it going, man? Uh, I wanted to get my transmission fluid drained and uh, refilled. I have a filter and uh, and gasket for it too as well. Oh, so you're like going to do like a pan drop on it? Pan drop. Yeah. Uh, how many miles on the vehicle? This one has a, well, the engine's brand new, okay. but it has a, a hundred and six thousand. Hundred and six thousand? Almost a hundred and seven. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah, we're, what we're, this? I've never seen one of these. This is called a Toyota Sun Raider. It's pretty cool. I've never seen one of these before. Yeah, um, yeah. It's a 1985. 19, man. Yeah. This thing's a beauty. Thanks. Uh, if you wanted to, just go and pull forward and back up against that curb right there. Okay. I'll let my mechanics know about it. Okay, thank All you. Right, yeah. That sounded like a maybe.
they'll have to drill out each one and stuff. I know, I know. This yeah, one. that might be. So this might be something you know, like you put the motor in. You might want to just do this when you got more time. Maybe yeah, extra bolts. Yeah. The, the major thing is making sure the proper amount of fluid is in there. Thank you. <laughs> that sucks. Bolt snapped. So this means that I got to make the Florida, and I have to do this job myself once again, because uh, where we are, they're not willing to do it. And Frank thought it was seven quarts, bottles, quarts. And they're saying start with three. No, that's only if you drain the pan. Uh, I pulled out the whole engine and the But then converter. they were even saying it was only 5.5. .5. Yeah, so we would- 5.5 .5 for the whole thing. So we were definitely over. We were way over. Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right on Double End Street. I guess that was free. US Highway 72 East. Free 99. They snapped the bolt. But then they put two quarts of new fluid in. Yep. Um, we were there for like at least half yeah, an hour. Enough. And then they were just super nice and was like, oh, we would love to do van life one day. And they, Sent they let us go. They said, so right, we like, have a good day. Cool. So roll right on out of there. If you don't want my money, I'm not going to force you, know you to what? take it. If they want my money, they could tell me to Venmo them and I'll Venmo them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how she runs. Let's get to Florida. We did not make it. Looks like anymore. a good place to work. Every time I'm out of Valvoline, they all seem pretty happy. Y'all taking a trip sometime soon? Um, yeah, life is a that's trip. kind of our life. Oh, really? Yeah, we live in Tavo and Van for the last two and a half years. Their sandwich is messy. <laughs> I got you the, the egg with the stuff in it. I, like I know it. you like that mm -hmm. best. My sandwich had a slight hint of chlorine. Ooh, delicious. I know, I was like, wow, at least it's really clean. <clears throat> but right now, <laughs> we are getting our first big oil change. 500, 600 mile oil change. That means that the engine is now broken in. Woohoo! So now we could take her up some rough shit, you know? Let's not push our luck here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, it's basically flat the whole rest of the way to Florida, so. After this oil change, we should be good to go. It feels like that we went the most hilly way possible. We avoided the mountain, but we caught a lot of hills. Mm -hmm. And she's performed really well. Unfortunately, we're not cooking in the house yet. We've had some trouble. We'd kind of turned the battery off in the back because we weren't sure if it was draining the battery in the front. You guys know we had the problem with the alternator and the battery was drained and blah, blah, blah. So there's really nothing in the fridge right now and we're about to go stay with family for a couple of days so there's no point going grocery shopping. So we've been spending not a lot of money on food, but like... Enough. Yeah. Breakfast was $15. Yesterday, dinner was 20 lunch was 20 So basically, you're spending like 60 bucks a day on food. And dinner last night was literally two pieces of pizza at Costco. <laughs> I'm in Florida! Made it to Florida, guys! <laughs> yeah! It only took three weeks. Actually, wow. over a month. It took two days to do the miles. No, we left for Florida. We left Utah for Florida <laughs> yeah, yeah. on April 1st. In that case, you're right. And now it's past May. So, our cross country, one week road trip turn into an entire month but we're in florida <laughs> so i got florida health insurance thinking oh i'm a florida resident we're gonna be in florida i should probably go see a doctor for my pregnancy i just called one office they're not taking new clients until next year the baby will already be here by then i'm calling the only other office that my insurance covers in the entire Tampa area. Tampa. And they're not answering the phone. Mexico was so much easier. We've got some super fun things lined up, including going to a Rowdy's game this afternoon to get some Cookie Field Mama cookies. But she's got a new treat, and so Ice Co. is gonna help her get it there to the stadium. We've got the Ice Co. fridge. This is the new APL 55. It's all ice cream. Ooh, buddy. Oh my goodness. Right now it's running, it's only 32 watts. It's super low power consumption. Thanks, Ice Co., for keeping our ice cream cold. Go, Rowdy's! Yeah!
This new series from Iceco is so versatile, it can be either a fridge, a freezer, or both at the same time. Whether you just need an extra unit at home or you're going on a big adventure, the APL 55 has got you covered. This cookie fueled mama needs an ice cream cup. <laughs> From the cookie fuel mama herself. Yeah. Oh yeah, we need the food. All right, let's go dig into this bad boy. Thank you, cookie fuel mama, and thank you for Ice Go for keeping it cold. And now we're at the cluster that is the DMV. We made an appointment online yesterday. There is a line up out the door, so we'll see what that means. Hopefully, it's better than Nevada. Our appointment was for the wrong day. But they snuck us in. So by chance, my new insurance gave me a call this morning and sent me a list of a bunch of people. Most of them are the offices that I already called, where I called this other one and they have appointments, but they need to see all of my paperwork and they won't see me if they don't like my paperwork from Mexico, but they won't translate my paperwork from Mexico, so we're not really sure what to do. All we could do is give them the paperwork and see if they accept it. Basically, she took all the paperwork. We did a quick Google Translate on one of the documents, which is probably so not 100%. Um, but so she's, one of the doctors has agreed to see us if she likes our medical stuff. So she's gonna look over the paperwork. Hopefully we'll have a call by the end of the day and then we'll maybe have an appointment by next week. I gotta be honest, I find this really silly, like the if your medical stuff is good enough. Well, and then they have like, to check the insurance. Isn't that the point of going to a doctor is to get the proper medical care? Like, well, I'm you sorry. haven't done it good up until now. You don't deserve it. Okay, $13 or yeah. 1300 Now what you do is you need to call your doula and you need to ask your doula, hey, if I can't get this XYZ done, is that gonna hold me up for getting in to see someone? In Canada. In Canada. Because the amount of money they want me to spend is crazy. Yes. Because they're breaking you up. Well, for your whole well they're care. saying it's like for the whole, whole rest of your pregnancy. Your pregnancy. Yeah, but we don't right. want that. And I can't just have one appointment. In lieu of spending $1,500 to see the baby, we decided on a different route. This is these kind of like pregnancy treasure places all over the place. It's about a hundred bucks to see what's happening on the inside. Come on, baby, get in. Get in, come on, let's go see the baby. I feel really nervous. I don't know why. We also have family accompanying us. Hi. <laughs> oh, so nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know if it's a girl or a boy. We're trying to keep it a secret, so Frank and I are kind of like not looking. <laughs> Where did we go? I feel like crap. Our goal is to not overheat the van. No, no, I literally can't because if I do, it is illegal. New York, that fine is like 10 grand. You know where it is. 